Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm going to do like I like to do every now and again, every every month, usually. I missed it last month, but this month we're going to continue the trend of doing a Q&A at least once a month. So starting with our first question here by uh, GA underscore uh, Instan. That's right, they're, they're a stan of Inst... I don't know. Anyway, their Q&A question was, what's your favorite Ponytown OST? And I have to probably give that to uh, Ponytown Falling. I have to, I have to give that to Falling. Um, it's one of the best soundtracks. It's one, it was one of my favorites, like, back in the day. I don't really listen to the Ponytown music all that much anymore. Like, when I play Ponytown, I just open up Spotify, and that's what I do. Um, but Falling used to be my favorite track, and legit, I kid you not, when I saved the track, I renamed it uh, Ponytown Falling, a.k.a. the best song. <laughs> So, uh, that's, that's, that's real, uh, but let's move on to our next question, because it's also real, very real. In fact, it's so real that, uh, Carol, uh, Lindenberg, uh, asked, do you think unicorn OCs are overrated? I got another one very similar to this one by a different user who asked if dragon OCs are overrated, and honestly, I don't think either are overrated. I don't know, I don't think they're overrated or underrated, like, what, what's... I don't, I don't understand where this line of questioning is coming from, but speaking of questions, that's right, there's a third question. <laughs> this third question by Mark underscore with the Da Bonnie mask asks, what was your first Ponytown OC? What was your first pony in Ponytown, more specifically? So, basically, that character was Birthmark. You may be seeing me using this character as background uh, gameplay or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to use as background gameplay yet, but that's, that's most likely what I'm going to be uh doing and stuff like that uh so uh yes birthmark is indeed uh my first character that i made in pony town and he's also the first pony oc that i made he's a unicorn with two horns and a black dot for a cutie mark that he was born with uh but moving on to other things that i was born with because i was born with this question from chibi Roo, who asked are you an unripe banana or a ripe banana considering the fact that you're green and honestly, my only response to that is, what's wrong with you? What, what, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And then of course, as I did uh, every other past time I did this again, I had asked my Discord server as I did every other previous time. And they asked if Skella didn't have her cuffs, what weapons would she use in the wastelands, a post-apocalyptic setting? Probably something like a scythe or um, some dual like chain blades or something like that, where like the, the little sickles on both ends and they're like chained together something similar to that probably um honestly yeah probably something like that i don't really know uh what she would use if she didn't use her cuffs uh but uh maybe just random makeshift weapons that uh break all the time or something like that that's probably another thing because uh that's of course another thing that uh she's capable of doing so uh, take it that way you will. Uh, speaking of things that you should take, uh, what games would you consider playing on the channel? Dovacraft88 asks, and honestly, just basically anything. I would love to play uh, Pavlov here on the channel, uh, VR chat more. I definitely need to do more videos on that. Uh, freaking uh, Spider-Man, uh, Call of Duty or something like that. I don't know. Those are good games. Maybe an escape room game or something. That could be fun. I'm just saying there's lots of uh, games I would love playing on the channel other than Ponytown. So yeah take it that what you will and speaking of things you should take you should take uh, uh th this person's word for it ali wishes i don't know maybe i said that wrong why do you think why do you think you'd be doing if ponies were never part of your life uh well um i don't know <laughs> just random things i guess like i don't know i don't know what else i would be doing there's not like i'd just be playing random video games i guess what kind of question is this? I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not smart enough to think of these alternate scenarios. But I am smart enough to end the video here before uh, I uh, run the clock out. So that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Even though this was a very short Q and A, I hope you enjoyed. Regardless, uh, if you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do those wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful for yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful. Thank you.